Did I really need another Death Studios vampire mask? Probably not. Did I want me another Death Studios vampire mask? Fuck yeah. I'm so glad that I got this bad boy in my collection now. His name is the Blue Night Terror and he was sculpted by John Smith and finished off by Jeff Death himself. He did an amazing job of casting this thing and painting it and stuff. He really went all in on the paint job. It looks really, really phenomenal. I love his eyes. The blue one's usually not a feeding frenzy one, but I asked Jeff Death to make it that way for me because I thought it would look cool and it does. There's amazing shading on this thing and the vein work looks really awesome. I love those ears, the way they look. Really, really cool how one's like standing up and the other one's kind of dog-eared. It's really cool. Little touch, it gives them a lot of personality. The eyes are really, really cool and hypnotic looking. Love his snarling mouth and the awesome looking fangs and everything's really, really first rate. I think this is pretty fairly cheap for what a great mask it is. It's like $85, something like that. Really, really badass. I also got these blue monster hands to go with them. They go with a variety of other Death Studios masks. I have cool blue wearing them now. Look really, really cool. And I highly, highly recommend the old Blue Night Terror if you're looking for a really first rate vampire mask to add to your collection. Till next time, guys.